Hi, I'm Burton C. Bell of Fear Factory, and you're watching Basie Stacy on Bay Area Rocks. So this is our first episode of Bay Area Rocks, and I've got the singer of Fear Factory for our first show. Yay, Burton. Dun, 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 dun. So how's the new album, Mechanized, going? It's going really well. Um, a lot of positivity. Um, you know, in this economy, it's selling as well as we would hope. You know, not as well as we'd hope, but in, in, in this era, it's doing pretty well so far. Uh, you know, the more we play, uh, the more the ba- people see that the band is on fire. We're a tight unit. Uh, it's obvious that we're having a great time on stage, uh, and there's more and more tours coming. And uh, so far, Mechanized is doing really well. Awesome. It's been out for like a month and a half now? February it came out. February, yeah. So yeah, a month and a half. Coming up on two months. Awesome. So how's it having Dino back in the band? It feels right. You know, um, Dino and I have have this undeniable chem- chemistry that, uh, you know, is, is so apparent. And it was there, you know, in the early days. And then, you know, obviously we had problems amongst ourselves and that there was the... It, you know, we went our separate ways, like journey. But um, <laughs> uh, you know, but you know, as time went by, you know, it just like we, whatever we were mad about, just was water under the bridge. Because you guys are old friends, right? You know, we were friends before we started this band, and you know, having him come back was the the best you know best idea I ever had. And so it, we work well together. We're getting along great and everyone in the band is having a great time and we're all good friends and you know the chemistry's right. Tell me about the Golden God Awards last night. Uh surreal, chaotic, <laughs> weird. Um it was I've never really been a part of like a, a you know an award show of that magnitude. I mean I've, I went to the Grammys a couple years ago because uh, I was up for um, best uh, song with ministry. Um, what was it? Uh, Under My Thumb. But I think, you know, another band got it, of course. I think Judas Priest, but um, no Metallica. And then, um, but this was weird because, you know, we had the black carpet walk and it was like every rocker, you know, I've ever thought of, you know, met before. It was just like a big family family reunion. It was just, and uh, it was just strange. But it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, it was only... It was been, we were one, we played three songs. It's going to air on May 22nd on VH1's Classics. Awesome. So uh, it was uh, Slash opened the show with his band, and then he did like a, you know, Dave Grohl was on drums, and then Lemmy came up on bass, and they did, uh, uh, what did they do? Um, Ace of Spades. And then, um, and then uh, As They Lay Dying played, and then Devil Wars Prada played, and then... We were sharing our dressing room with this band, the Brian Posehn band. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's the comedian. Uh, yeah, he's funny. And he does, like, metal by numbers or something yeah. like that. He was very funny. And uh, he had Scott Ian on guitar in his band. He had Joey from Armored Saint playing bass. He had jo- John Tempesta on drums. And it was just, you mm-hmm. know, it was fantastic. Oh, and he had Brendan Smalls nice. from Death Clock on a lead guitar. And it was fantastic. And so it was that band and our band sharing one dressing room. and. Wow. That was the surreal part because everybody was walking in and out. I mean, it was, just, it was a free for all anyway. It was just, like, you know, Chino and Abe from uh, Deftones came in to say hello, and mm-hmm. then there was for a minute there was, after our show that we walk in and there's you know, before and after the show there was uh, uh, Mike Inez and, and uh, I just forgot his name uh, Jerry Cantrell watching our set, you know, from the you know TV and. Alice in Chains. Yeah, and uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Alice in Chains. I always have been, and you know their new work is incredible. And you know just having them in there, and then you know Brendan Smalls, and you know Stat, you know Ian and Scotty, and just it was everybody was walking. You know, saw Ronnie James Dio, and oh, how is he doing with uh, the cancer and stuff? Well, he was out and about, and he you know he was he looked good. You know he looked he looked thin, but you know he's an old man, and. Uh, but he looked great, and uh, he, he looked like he was in good spirits. And uh, I had a chance to see Dio a few years ago. We did a festival with him in F- Finland, and it was just, he was, even to the even then, his voice is just off the hook. And he's, like, always running around on stage and yeah. going crazy. Like, it's great it, to see him do Yeah, it. it's great. And, uh, you know, even on, st- you know, when, when his band members are, like, doing their solos, he's off on the side drinking a pint. <laughs> <laughs> a pint of beer. I was like, see that guy is mellow you know that's guy i can hang out with that guy and 
you know, just it, and then there was a bunch of friends there I hadn't seen in a long time, and in the VIP section, it was just like, oh my goodness, it was just everybody in LA was there, and everyone from the whole country was there. It seemed like. Well, I can't wait to see it in May. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. So you guys are going to Las Vegas tomorrow. Vegas, we're leaving. Yeah, we're going to be in Vegas tomorrow. That's our last show of this leg of this tour. Um, we had to reschedule San Diego because uh, if we played the San Diego show, we would uh, miss the first Metallica show. So because oh. we're flying the day after Vegas, we're flying from L.A. to Norway to open nine shows as direct support for Metallica. Oh, that's going to be so killer. You're stoked. Yeah, the very first time for us, you know, like got to say, it's a dream come true. Yeah, cool. So we're, exci- we're excited. It's going to be weird playing in the round. I've heard, you know, Matt, you know, our friends like, you know, obviously Machine Head and, and Mastodon and Lamb of God have opened up for these guys already, and they've played it in the round, and they just say it's the weirdest thing ever, so. Oh, well, something new. I- I'll make it work. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So how's it playing with Gene Hoagland on drums? <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Dude, it's 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 an honor. That's all I can say. You know, I remember when we first sat down in the studio, and it was Dino and Gene and Byron, and I'm sitting. You know, Dino's here and Gene's here, and Byron, you know, here we're all like kind of in a circle, and Dino and Gene are just sitting there jamming. I'm just like, I'm just looking at Gene, just <laughs> like, like with this, like this little school school girl grin on my face like oh my god (laughs) i was like watching history and uh just watching gene play just he has this effortless i know it doesn't even look like he's even like trying hard at all when he's playing (laughs) and it's like double bass going off you know he's a wicked human being and uh super cool and uh it's an honor awesome well that's great so what's um the next thing that's going to happen with you guys besides playing with Metallica, I mean, are you working on new material already? Or no, just, no, not you yet. take a break after the whole Metallica No, uh, that, that, well, that's only nine shows. I mean, the record just came out. There's nine shows with Metallica. We're coming back here. We'll have two or three, three weeks off, and then we start another American Leg tour uh, with Prong. Nice. Opening up. Snap your fingers, snap your neck. Yeah, good friends with Tommy, and... Uh, uh, we're still looking for a couple of other bands, but uh, right now we're, we're really excited about that. So that's going to be like, we're going to be through the States for about two months. Cool. And then we're going to do European festivals in the summer, and then back here and back there. And we're, I think for the rest of the year we're touring. What's your favorite thing about touring? Uh, playing the gigs. You know, that's, you know, we wait all day to play. And, you know, you know, you, you, there's not much to, not, not much to do during the day unless we're fortunate to have an interview <laughs> you know that you know that takes time and it's like wow something to do yay you know usually watching you know star, star wars, wars for the 100, <laughs> 150th time on this tour or uh or reading or listening to music um but you know the best part of the day is playing the show what's the funniest thing that you've seen when you're playing on stage or backstage like a prank or something Oh man, it's just there's so many. <laughs> usually it's give me the dirty, dirty details. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Ixnay. Turn the camera off. Well, what's the? W- yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll hear those later. <laughs> well, but um, you know, while I'm on stage, there's some funny things that fans do, um, out in the audience that sometimes throws me off. It's just like they some they laugh or they do something just so what and it throws me off and I forget where I am I was like I forgot my lyrics what (laughs) Um, backstage you know just backstage antics you know people joking and laughing telling stories drinking and you know of course there's you know there's always the sex drugs and rock and roll thing that you know it's still true to this day you know even you know the 90s didn't completely kill it so (laughs) That's good. I'm glad because yeah. you know we'd be bored. So, how many kittens have you saved? Kittens. This year, I've saved three kittens. Nice. Good job. I did my job. Well, thank you very much uh, for the interview. It, it's nice, short, and sweet. I'm, gl- I'm glad you uh, chose Fear Factory to be your first, uh, you know, flagship interview. Well, we are honored to have Fear Factory as our first interview thank you very for much. sure. Thank so, you very much. Thank you.